Do you feel trapped in a never-ending cycle of negative habits and self-destructive patterns? Have you been struggling to break free from the shadows of your past and find true personal growth and happiness? If so, Jeffrey Young, PhD, and Janet Klosko, PhD, offer a lifeline in their transformative manual, Reinventing Your Life. Drawing upon their expertise in schema therapy and cognitive behavior therapy, Young and Klosko present a roadmap to help you identify and overcome the stumbling blocks that hold you back from living a fulfilling life. Jeffrey E. Young, a pioneer in schema therapy, and Janet S. Klosko, a distinguished clinical psychologist, bring a wealth of experience and knowledge to this powerful guide. Together, they coalesce their expertise to illuminate the concept of life traps, patterns of self-destructive behavior that stem from unresolved childhood traumas. Through the pages of this book, you will not only discover the 11 key life traps that may ensnare you but also gain insights into the types of childhood neglect that can contribute to their formation. Young's revelation came during his early years as a cognitive therapist, as he witnessed a disheartening trend among his patients. While many found success in changing their behaviors and achieving greater well-being, a significant portion remained mired in their struggles, seemingly impervious to conventional therapy. It was through careful observation that he discerned a common thread connecting these individuals, they were all ensnared in life traps. In this summary, we will explore the profound insights shared by Young and Klosko. You will delve into the intricate workings of life traps, understanding their origins, manifestations, and the profound impact they can have on your life. However, mere knowledge is not enough. Young and Klosko provide a beacon of hope by outlining seven actionable steps that can help you liberate yourself from the clutches of life traps and embark on a journey of lasting change. Escaping a life trap is an arduous endeavor, one that demands courage, dedication, and unwavering commitment. While this summary offers valuable insights and guidance, you may find that a comprehensive understanding necessitates delving into the detailed explanations and compelling examples found within the book itself. Moreover, some individuals may find it essential to seek the support of a qualified therapist to safely navigate their path towards liberation. If you are ready to embark on a transformative journey and break free from the confines of your past, then let us begin. Reinventing Your Life is not just a book. It is a powerful tool that empowers you to reshape your future and embrace the life you truly deserve. Chapter 1. The Abandonment Life Trap Michelle's childhood was marked by the absence of her father and the destructive presence of her alcoholic mother. From a young age, she experienced the pain of abandonment and the constant worry that her mother would disappear for days on end, leaving her in a state of panic. Even when her mother was physically present, she was emotionally absent, consumed by her addiction and unable to fulfill her role as a mother. Now, as a 31-year-old woman, Michelle finds herself trapped in a cycle that mirrors her childhood environment. Her relationship with Thomas, which has spanned a tumultuous 10 years, reflects her deep-seated fear of abandonment. Despite her desire to get married and commit fully, Thomas remains reluctant to take the plunge. Their on-again, off-again dynamic has resulted in three painful breakups, each one leaving Michelle grappling with overwhelming emotions. During these moments of separation, Michelle experiences a whirlwind of emotions that mirror the traumas of her childhood. She is overcome with fear, panicking at the thought that Thomas may never return. She is burdened by grief, immobilized by the weight of her emotions. And she is consumed by anger, a fiery intensity that makes her yearn to unleash her frustration on anything within reach. Even when they are together, Michelle lives in a constant state of anxiety, fearing that Thomas will abandon her once again this time for good. Michelle has fallen into the clutches of the abandonment life trap, one of the 11 patterns that shape our lives. Life traps are formed through adverse experiences in childhood, inflicted upon us by our families or peers. Whether it be criticism, deprivation, abuse, or, in Michelle's case, parental abandonment, these experiences leave lasting scars. Overprotective or overindulgent parenting, as well as exclusion or bullying at school, can also contribute to the formation of life traps. As adults, we often recreate the damaging environments of our past, unwittingly constructing our own life traps. In Michelle's case, 
the wounds of abandonment have resurfaced in her relationship with Thomas. Despite the pain she experienced in her childhood and her awareness of its harmful effects, she is drawn to Thomas in a way that perpetuates her life trap. Their connection feels powerful, fueled by a chemistry that binds her to him, even at the cost of her own well-being. Breaking free from life traps is a challenging endeavor, as they infiltrate every aspect of our lives, shaping our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. They engender self-destructive patterns and trigger overwhelming emotional responses. The deeply ingrained nature of life traps makes them resistant to change. Michelle's own life trap is so deeply rooted that it continues to hold her captive, keeping her trapped in a cycle of abandonment. However, change is not impossible. The first step towards liberation lies in acknowledging and naming the life trap. Chapter 2, The Life Traps and Unhealthy Escape Routes Our childhood experiences shape our development, influencing the fulfillment of our core needs and ultimately determining whether we grow into well-adjusted adults. When these needs are not met, we can find ourselves caught in life traps that have the power to derail our lives. The abandonment life trap, as experienced by Michelle, arises from a lack of safety and security during childhood. The mistrust and abuse life trap emerges when we expect others to hurt us, leading us to avoid close relationships for fear of betrayal. These life traps prevent us from forming meaningful connections and hinder our ability to trust and rely on others. The need for love, respect, and understanding from our families and peers is crucial for developing a genuine connection to others. When this connection is absent in childhood, two life traps can take hold, the emotional deprivation life trap and the social exclusion life trap. In the emotional deprivation life trap, one feels unloved and believes their need for love will never be met. The social exclusion life trap manifests when an individual feels different and isolated from the rest of the world, having been shunned by their childhood peers. Both life traps lead to self-sabotage in relationships, preventing them from flourishing. Overprotective or enmeshed parents can hinder the cultivation of autonomy in their children, resulting in the dependence life trap or the vulnerability life trap. In the dependence life trap, individuals rely excessively on others for support and struggle with basic life tasks independently. The vulnerability life trap instills a constant fear that something terrible is about to happen, regardless of how unrealistic that fear may be causing individuals to retreat and isolate themselves within the confines of their own homes. Excessive criticism from family and friends can undermine the development of self-esteem, leading to the defectiveness life trap or the failure life trap. In the defectiveness life trap, individuals believe they are inherently flawed and unworthy of love, leading to a fear of intimacy in adulthood. The failure life trap breeds a painful sense of inferiority in comparison to peers, affecting one's achievement and performance across various domains. When our needs, feelings, and desires are suppressed, our self-expression suffers, potentially trapping us in the subjugation life trap or the unrelenting standards life trap. The subjugation life trap manifests when individuals sacrifice their own needs to please others out of guilt. In the unrelenting standards life trap, excessive emphasis and expectations are placed on social status, financial standing, appearance, or other external factors, often stemming from childhood pressures to excel in every aspect of life. In some cases, parents neglect to establish realistic limits for their children, leading to the entitlement life trap. Individuals stuck in this life trap disregard the feelings and needs of others, becoming distressed when their own desires are not immediately met. While falling into any of these life traps may be easy, breaking free from their grip is undoubtedly challenging. In our quest for escape, we often resort to unhealthy coping mechanisms and escape routes. Recognizing and understanding these routes is crucial if we are to embark on a journey of real change and transformation. Chapter 3. Coping Mechanisms and Alternative Paths The development and manifestation of life traps vary based on an individual's temperament and environment. Even siblings growing up in the same abusive household can react differently, with one choosing to fight back while the other becomes passive. These responses can stem from inherent temperamental traits or the modeling of parental roles within the family dynamics. While people may react diversely to life traps, there are three primary coping mechanisms, surrender, avoidance, and counterattack. 
To illustrate these mechanisms, we'll examine the experiences of three individuals, Sam, Bobby, and Alex. All three are trapped in the defective life trap, which manifests as an inward sense of flaw. However, their coping strategies diverge significantly. Sam, a 20-year-old college student, surrenders to his feelings of defectiveness. He displays self-deprecating behavior, mumbling and blushing when interacting with others. Sam constantly puts himself down and apologizes excessively, even when it is unwarranted. He perceives himself as inferior in every aspect compared to his peers, academically, socially, and financially. Sam's only friend consistently ridicules him, and he wholeheartedly agrees with the criticisms. Growing up in a belittling and critical family, Sam perpetuates the cycle by engaging in behaviors that reinforce his demeaning treatment. He surrounds himself with people who are unkind to him, actively avoiding anyone who shows kindness. Sam fully embraces the belief that he is defective, surrendering to the life trap without resistance. Bobby, on the other hand, employs avoidance as his coping mechanism to evade feelings of defectiveness. At 40 years old, he has never developed a close relationship, not even with his wife. Bobby finds solace in the company of his casual drinking buddies at the local bar, where conversations remain superficial and devoid of personal topics. Unlike Sam, Bobby goes to great lengths to dissociate himself from his feelings of defectiveness. He has repressed memories of his domineering father, and it is only through life trap therapy that he gradually becomes aware of his low self-esteem and its roots in his upbringing. Lastly, we have Alex, who counterattacks his defective life trap by cultivating a belief and outward display of being special. With a confident smile, expensive attire, and flashy accessories, Alex strives to project superiority. He deliberately seeks out situations where he can feel superior, such as marrying a meek partner and surrounding himself with sycophantic friends. Alex adopts these behaviors as a defense mechanism to counteract the devaluation and neglect he experienced during his childhood. While some individuals employing counterattack mechanisms may achieve external success, many grapple with internal turmoil and a persistent sense of defectiveness beneath their polished facades. You may find elements of yourself reflected in the experiences of Sam, Bobby, or Alex, or perhaps you identify with aspects of all three. The good news is that you need not follow their harmful examples. There are alternative paths to escape the grasp of your life trap. Chapter 4, Breaking Free from the Life Trap Remember Michelle, the 31-year-old caught in the abandonment life trap with her non-committal boyfriend, Thomas? In her search for help during the painful breakup, Michelle discovered life trap therapy, a comprehensive approach that draws from various therapeutic modalities, including psychoanalytic, experiential, cognitive, pharmacological, and behavioral techniques. The therapy offers a systematic framework consisting of seven steps to facilitate meaningful change within life traps. However, despite its simplicity and concept, the process is far from easy. The first step in life trap therapy is identifying your specific life trap. Michelle, like many patients, experienced a sense of recognition upon realizing her struggles with abandonment. She expressed, I guess I always knew, on some level, I had issues with abandonment. This initial awareness is crucial to begin the journey of healing. The second step involves understanding the childhood origins of the life trap. To achieve this, one must delve into their memories, allowing images and recollections to flood their mind. It is during this process that communication with the inner child becomes essential. Comforting, advising, and empathizing with the younger self may initially feel peculiar, but most patients find immense benefit in this practice. Building a case against the life trap is the third step. Many individuals entrapped in life traps accept them both emotionally and intellectually, feeling utterly trapped with no way out. This step challenges those beliefs by creating a list of pros and cons. The pros represent the reason supporting the validity of the life trap, while the cons question its truthfulness. Michelle compiled a list of people who hadn't abandoned her and recognized the ways she unintentionally pushed Thomas away when desperately seeking his commitment. If the list of pros outweighs the cons, it is essential to reflect on whether those pros are genuinely valid or remnants of childhood conditioning. 
Step 4 involves writing letters to the individuals who played a role in shaping the life trap, parents, siblings, or peers. This exercise provides a safe and appropriate outlet to express anger and sadness. Whether or not the letters are sent is optional, as the primary purpose is to release these emotions constructively. The fifth step requires a thorough and honest evaluation of how the life trap impacts various aspects of one's life. Identifying the ways in which the life trap influences thoughts, emotions, and behaviors is essential. Next, creating a plan for change is crucial. Michelle not only examined her relationship with Thomas but also explored her tendency to cling to friends out of fear of abandonment. She then developed strategies to modify these patterns. Step 6 entails breaking the identified patterns from Step 5. Starting with changes that feel more manageable and attainable is recommended. Michelle began by giving her friends more space and practicing emotional resilience when they didn't immediately respond to her calls. Small victories in breaking these patterns build momentum for greater change. Finally, step 7 emphasizes perseverance. This transformative process is undeniably challenging, but giving up is not an option. Consistently challenging the life trap and persisting until all self-destructive patterns are broken is the key to long-term transformation. Summary. When children's core needs aren't met, it sets the stage for a lifetime of trouble. As adults, those kids will recreate their harmful childhood environments, and they will keep falling into the same messy life traps that go with it. They'll stay stuck in those traps, unless they're willing to do the work it takes to escape, facing your fears, being honest with yourself and keep on trying. Escaping life traps is no easy feat, and dredging up childhood memories can be so painful we might need a therapist to help. You'll need to put in constant and consistent effort but you can climb out of your life traps, and when you do, your life will take a sharp turn for the better. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description, trust me, you won't regret it.